Hi, farm friends. This is Deanna Dalsid of Fair Oaks Antiques, one of the many vendors at Fargo Antiques and Repurpose Market, aka the farm. I'm talking to you today briefly about some of our events coming up at the Antique Mall. January is National Hobby Month, and we're celebrating with lots of events about different hobbies. So be sure to stop by our website, farmantiques.net. Sign up for a newsletter so you don't miss anything. Today I'm going to talk mainly about junk journals. We're offering workshops with Lil Muskie. And if you aren't sure what junk journals are, they're basically scrapbooks. If you've ever enjoyed pouring through vintage scrapbooks for ideas, marveling at everything from the photos to the things they glued in them, then you have an idea of what junk journals are. They're quite like scrapbooks, only... These are handmade books, which offer a lot of insight about life, but also art and journaling is done in them. Typically, junk journals are made with found or recycled items, which makes them pretty special. Lil made me an awesome book, a junk journal for my dog, Oliver. And he's a basset hound, so you'll see many pictures in there and photos of dogs, along with pockets, Places to put photos or doodle or if you have vet records, puppy pictures, licenses, tags, all that sort of stuff. You can glue in fabrics, ribbons, buttons, more pockets, places to hide things. And this is just one example. You can do these in whatever style you like. As always, farm is full of old paper and ephemera illustrations and books. And if you attend this event at farm, you'll be able to leave with a finished book of your own, even if it's not completely finished because some of us never stop decorating in our junk journals. Again, visit farmantiques.net. Um, seating is limited and there's only two workshops in January. So visit and sign up. See you at the farm.